Hey guys, Tim from Argonaut here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Atlas with the Novation Launchpad. Using Atlas with the Launchpad is great for finger drawing performances or production in the studio, and it's a great way to find inspiring sounds and kits. It's also real fun. Just quickly, if you haven't heard of it, Atlas is our flagship drum sampler plugin powered with AI that can turn your favorite sample packs into maps, so it's really easy to find sounds. Atlas can then instantly generate kits using your own samples. In the new 1.2 update for Atlas, we've included a dedicated layout for the Novation Launchpad. Atlas already had an 8x8 view, and this was mapped with the MIDI going up row by row from the bottom left slot, and it looked like this. Launchpad User Mode 1 maps the MIDI to go up in two columns of 4x8. This is so that you can use it one to one with Ableton's drum rack. We now have a layout in Atlas called Launchpad, which maps to this perfectly as well. When you do this, it changes the pads around so that they're all perfectly in line. I'm going to show you now how to set it all up. First, open Ableton and plug in your launchpad, making sure it connects properly. This is something I've already done here. And load Atlas to a MIDI channel. The first thing you're going to see is the welcome pack that's provided by us. You can zoom in and browse and see all these samples here. But naturally, the thing you're going to want to do is load a map of your own sample packs. So you can go up to Maps and load your own. And I'm going to load this Vengeance Deep House 1 and 2 map I made using those sample packs. So here we go, here we can see all the samples in those two packs, categorized and arranged by how they sound. Select the launch pad layout, so that the UI in Atlas perfectly matches the launch pad. Now you can click new kit to generate a kit of sounds. This essentially gives you three 4x4 kits in the top left, bottom left and bottom right side of the 8x8 grid, and a collection of other sounds in the top right. Set your launch pad to user mode 1, and with the MIDI channel armed, the launch pad can now trigger the samples in Atlas. If you go into Settings in Atlas, you can map the New Kit button to a MIDI note. Here I've set it to B6, which corresponds with the MIDI note on the bottom right Scene button. So now when I press B6, or this button, it will change the kit out. Like so. This starts to get really fun when you combine this with Patterns in Ableton. Atlas comes with a bunch of patterns that we've made to get your beat started quickly. You can drag these directly out of Atlas into Ableton. So if I move Atlas to the right, open the MIDI Clips view, scroll down to some more techno, you can just drag them in. Close MIDI Clips, and we're good to go. If you select Session View on the Launchpad, you can then trigger these patterns when you're ready. Bored of the kit, you can just change it with one button press. Go back to user mode one and hit that bottom right scene button. And of course, you can record directly on top of the clip in Ableton using your launch pad. You can even get fancy and map the record button to another scene button on, on the launch pad. So here I'm mapping it to the second scene button. And it's recorded. Now I'm just going to wing it for a little bit and see what I can come up with.
So as you can see, Atlas and the Launchpad are perfect for each other. It's a whole lot of fun and a great source for inspirational beats and patterns. We are really excited to see how you guys use them together, and I'm sure you'll come up with some great workflows and tricks in production and performances. Thanks for watching.